Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the new Nestle Toll House. These are stuffed jumbo cookies. We have the chocolate chip cookie dough with fudge filling, and then we have a double chocolate cookie dough with salted caramel filling. They were both the same price. They were both $3.99 each, but we found the uh, the the uh, ch the fudge ones at Kroger, and we found the caramel ones at Meyer. And it's funny because neither store had both packages. They you could either get one or uh, one or none. That that's how it, that went. So what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350. While your oven's preheating, it's telling you keep these in the refrigerator while the oven's preheating. Place four cookies four inches apart on ungreased baking sheet and then bake 15 to 18 minutes or until golden brown. So, I'm gonna open this up. We can look at calories and stuff like that uh, when we get to the table. Okay, that package is pretty tough. So these are the fudge stuffed. Okay, so I'm going to put four of those. And you do not have to make all these at once. Like, I could make just two if I wanted to, and then put the other two um, in the refrigerator. Okay, now, so we'll look at, see if the, see if the um, salted caramel looks any, oh, yep, they look different, all right. <laughs> because they are double chocolate cookies. Okay, so look at all those chips. So I'm gonna put these on here. So you want to bake these for, I think it says 15 to, yeah, 15 to 18 minutes. I'm gonna go um, 16 minutes and I'm gonna check them and see how they look. Uh, but then when they come out of the oven, I'll let you know the total time I had them in. So I had the cookies in the oven for uh, 17 minutes, and the, the range was anywhere from 15 to 18. I set my timer for 16. I wanted them just a little bit browner, so I left them in for 17 minutes. Now you wanna leave them on the cookie sheet to cool for at least five minutes before you move them somewhere else to let them cool completely. I figured you would want to see what uh, these look like uh, broken because the the whole point of these is they're supposed to be stuffed. So let's see how stuffed they are. Yes, those are nice and stuffed. Those have a thicker thicker layer. Let me wipe my knife off here. And then this one is supposed to be the salted caramel. And hopefully we'll be able to see it. I love the ooey gooey texture of them. But yeah, you get you get a good uh, generous pour, uh, size of the uh, salted caramel. So no matter no matter which cookie you get, they are two hundred thirty calories each. Mm. Wow! <laughs> More than a candy bar. That's a lot. Yeah, for two hundred thirty calories, you can either have one of these cookies, or I think a payday is two forty. That's nuts. Or two Reese's cups. Oh my God! Okay, well, okay. Uh, they are no, what they are. yeah, they are what they are. No artificial colors or flavors. No artificial preservatives. Um, and it says for uh, tips for better baking: bake on baking sheet on the center rack, which I always do. Mm -hmm. uh, parchment lined baking sheet recommended, of course. Um, begin with the lowest time recommended and add time as needed. Yeah, because you can't go back. Uh, so those are the baking tips. You okay. know someone's gonna ask, can what? you eat these raw? Oh, you think somebody would ask that? Somebody okay, always somebody always asks that. Do not consume raw cookie dough. There you go. So there's your answer. <laughs> I always like to say that because if, just in case you want to know. Yeah, so you, well, you can't. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. You're not you supposed could, to. I mean, but you know. Okay, so here we go. It looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. they, they did a good job of putting jock ones on it. It's just like a souped up chocolate chip cookie. It is. Uh, Kevin's favorite, you know, you get the, the tubs of the edible mm -hmm. cookie dough. 
Kevin's favorite is the um, the Nestle Toll House in the yellow because we've tried we've tried a bunch. But these are still slightly warm, not mm -hmm. hot, just very, very slightly warm. Yeah, they're still kind of pliable and gooey like in the middle. That. Yeah, I think if you were to let these set and completely cool, the the center is still going to be soft because it's a fudgy kind of texture, mm -hmm. um, but it wouldn't be as as gooey. I like it gooey, yeah. but if you don't like it gooey, then yeah, yeah let just, it just let it set and cool completely. I like a slightly warm cookie, not hot, but it is slightly warm. Mm -hmm. um, that is, uh, the flavor for me is okay. It's um, between would I want these or would I rather have like their, their cookie dough out of the tub. Honestly, I'd rather have the cookie dough out of the tub. I would too. Um, than this. Yeah, the, um, the chocolate stuffing kind of makes it a little dark, dark, not yes. quite as sweet mm -hmm. as it normally is. I agree. You still get the buttery flavor, like from the chocolate cookie, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's diminished quite a bit. I agree. I so I'm um, I'm liking the outside cookie. <laughs> I think it's the inside yeah. that's giving it a. Um, it's given it uh, an aftertaste that I don't like, and that's what I'm not enjoying yeah, really. It's like a is that, chocolate. Yeah, I just don't enjoy that after. Well, and it's not a pure chocolate. It doesn't taste like pure chocolate. It tastes like um, a, something that's been made up in a factory. <laughs> you know, something. You know, so I I would pass on these. Yeah, I would just regular get regular chocolate cookies. They're good, but I'd rather have the other. Yeah. Ones. Uh, so double chocolate cookie dough with salted caramel filling um, is going to be this one. There we go. I was worried about the spread on the baking sheet, by the way, because because it said put them four inches apart. Hey, it was fine. She was she. she I it. never when they say put things that far apart, I just don't sweat it. Now this I expect the darker chocolate. Mm-hmm. Because it says double chocolate. Mm -hmm. Here we get a little you get the salt. You uh, I don't know if I get the caramel necessarily. Well, it has three hundred milligrams of sodium. Mm hmm You know, it says salted caramel, mm -hmm. so I wonder if this one has more. Uh this one has two twenty, so definitely uh the salted caramel has more. Uh two twenty and then three hundred. Um I like that one more. Um, it has more flavor. It has more flavor. You get the flavor of the, the chocolate, the double chocolate cookie, which I like the flavor of the, the cookie. It actually tastes like your regular chocolate and not... This, just the center of this one just tasted fake. It just tasted really artificial. Um, and you get a, a better chocolate flavor in this one. But you also get the caramel, and the caramel sweetens it up. Yeah. It adds some sweetness to it. I, I would skip both of them. I honestly. would too. Um, I would too. The, I don't know. I, would, I, I like them both basically the same because they both have things I don't like about them. Mm -hmm. They both. Have, I love the texture of both of them. I love that gooey center. I love that. But the flavor even of the caramel wasn't all that great. It wasn't like a really sweet gooey caramel you know it was just it was okay i mean mm -hmm. i got the taste of caramel but the that is a darker chocolate cookie which i don't really care for um i don't know There's... and the price is is high you're paying a dollar a cookie these were 3.99 it didn't matter Definitely whether, not worth dollar didn't matter whether you got them at kroger or, or meyer they were still a dollar a cookie yeah. i think that's way too much yeah, when is. when you can um make your own or you can go to the Walmart bakery and they have all kinds of cookies already made. You don't even have to dirty a baking pan yep, or whatever. Like 12 or 24 cookies. For and they're, hours. those are better. Yeah. I, and I know people are gonna wanna try these cause they're new and they say stuffed and all that. I just wasn't impressed enough to buy them again. No, I would rather have the, um, the Nestle Toll House, just the cookie. Yeah. Uh, the chocolate chip cookie roll. Yes. I'd rather have those. Than yes, the, the the ones in the actual roll that you slice and bake are much better than these. I just think you're, I, I think you're going to be let down if you buy yeah. these, and you only get four. Yeah, they're they're too expensive where they are. The flavors are just okay. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.